I'm a fan of westerns. I don't like just any western, though. I like the ones that involve Indians. I like the Indian movies because they're predictable. You know what the big scene is going to be, right? It's going to be the attack the Indians finally make on the cowboys. You wait for it to happen for an hour and a half. You can see the clown standing on the hill. And finally, yeah! And it's over. And they show us for 90 minutes how the cowboys get ready for this attack, right? Pull them wagons around the circle. Get them old ladies up there, load up the weapons. Tap them petticoats, use them for bandages. Let's get them salt bags and sandbags and handbags. Get the dog out of here. It's a big hassle. There's a lot of sand. They never show us how the Indians prepare. And it's their attack, right? <laughs> well, the Indians were good fighters. Just because they started in Massachusetts and wound up defending Santa Monica doesn't mean they were bad. <laughs> They were good fighters, and if they were, they must have been well organized. They must have had a way to divide their manpower. It couldn't have been as chaotic as it looks in the movies with one old chief, many moon come Choctaw, and a lot of guys running around naked. There had to be intermediate authority. There must have been Indian sergeants. No army can make it without that tough, veteran, battle-hardened sergeant, and the Indians were no exception. All right, all the tall guys over by the trees. <laughs> Fat guys down behind the rocks. <laughs> you with the beads, out of line, come on. <laughs> Boy, there's one in every village. All right, now go off the horse play. Come on, now go off the horse play. You guys over there playing with the horse, will you knock it off? <laughs> you have all been given a piece of birch bark and a feather dipped in eagle's blood. We want you to write on the birch bark with the feather in the upper right-hand corner. That's the upper right-hand corner. That's your arrow hand. You write your name, last name first, first name last. Your name is Running Bear, you write Bear, Running. You got a middle initial, please include that, such as Wolf, Howling W. A lot of you guys have been asking me about promotion. You'd like to make Brave second class. Get another scar up on your arm. Well, I'm happy to say the results of your early tests have come true. You're doing beautifully. Burning settlers' homes, everybody passed. Imitating a coyote, everybody passed. Sneaking quietly through the woods, everybody passed, except limping ox. <laughs> However, Limping Ox is being fitted with a pair of corrective moccasins. <laughs> and uh, he'll be up and dancing in no time at all. Now, there are two other areas on which you will be tested. Running down the hill, yelling like a nut. <laughs> and leaping off the cliff, which is considered to be the tougher of the two. A lot of fellas like to save leaping off the cliff for last. <laughs> Got a lot of announcements for you here. The fertility rights have been called off <laughs> due to the recent cold wave. Ah. <laughs> There'll be a rain dance Friday night, weather permitting. <laughs> Got a great band, Leaping Lizard and the All Stars. <laughs> They'll be playing all your favorite tunes Pass That Peace Pipe, Indian Love Call, Sweet Sue, all them tunes you've come to know and love. Through these many moons. <laughs> okay, uh, one other thing There's another item that goes on your clothing list And that is your loin cloth Now that goes down on your list As one each cloth loin type That there is your loin cloth This will want to get to know and love your loin cloth Someday it may save your life <laughs> There'll be a massacre tonight at nine o'clock. <laughs> we'll meet down by the bonfire, dance around a little, and move out. <laughs> this will be the fourth straight night we've attacked the fort. However, tonight it will not be as easy. Tonight there will be soldiers in the fort. <laughs> Happy to say I'll be leading the massacre. I'll be running down front. You'll see me. I'm the one that's on fire. And the uh, uniform of the day, it's a formal massacre. You want your Class A summer loin clot. Two green stripes over the eye, no feather. Arms are blue, legs are red, chest is optional. <laughs> you might throw a little yellow on the bellies. No, you can't put any purple on your eyelids. 
Ain't you the guy with the beads? Get out of line, would you please, pal? Thank you.